For some reason, Madison recalled the sentence, Next time, don't randomly take a man's towel. She blushed at the memory, partly out of shyness and partly out of anger. He had suggested she had taken his towel deliberately. As she scolded Ian in her mind, she was pushed into the living room. Her father and Drake were sitting on the couch waiting for her. Drake gave Madison a sleazy smile when he saw her enter. The sight of it made her skin crawl. Hello, Madison said, and quietly sat on the other side of the couch. John nodded. He wasn't surprised that Madison had failed to bring anyone back with her. In truth, Stella and Kelsey weren't the only ones who knew that Luke had been Madison's boyfriend. Although John was also aware of this, he hadn't said anything. After all, he was still slightly biased when it came to his daughters. He had hoped for Kelsey to win over the Morris family, while Madison was to sacrifice her happiness for the good of their own family. You get more beautiful every time I see you, Drake flirted. Without hesitation, he got up from John's side and sat down beside Madison. He reached out and tried to grab her hand, but she pulled it away. Drake frowned and asserted, That's okay. We'll have plenty of time to get to know each other better when we're married. She could feel him leaning closer to her, and she immediately stood up and stepped away from him. Her brows knitted tightly, and she told John, I need to tell you something. Drake didn't seem at all embarrassed by her reluctance to touch him. He just sat there, eyeing her hungrily. I taught you better than this, John said angrily. This is no way to treat your fiancé. She's so stubborn, just like her late mother, he thought. She challenges me at every turn. Is it any wonder I don't even like her? You will marry Drake, and you will do well to treat him with respect, he continued firmly. We'll talk about this later. Despite having prepared herself for his reaction, Madison still felt a bone-chilling coldness at her father's words. Her hands clenched into fists around the handles of her bag. Stella and Kelsey watched the scene play out from the sidelines. They didn't step in. They both knew that Madison would not get out of this. She would end up marrying Drake. Just listen to me, please, Madison said, raising her voice. She knew they wouldn't believe her, as she hadn't brought Ian with her. But the truth was that they were married. She gritted her teeth. I got married today. I just came back from the courthouse. She took advantage of the silence that ensued and continued, as you are all well aware, bigamy is illegal, which makes it impossible for Drake and me to be engaged. In her family's eyes, she had embarrassed both them and Drake. Nonsense, John said. When did you get married? Why wasn't I told about it? He yelled. He pointed a finger at Madison and continued, You're my daughter, and you follow my rules. You can't just go and get married to anyone you want. Who is he anyway? Luke, bring him here immediately. His words pierced her heart like a knife. She hadn't thought that her father would go as low as this. No wonder his reputation had always been so bad. What will people think of me if even my father treats me like this? She thought. Madison's mouth curled into a mocking smile. While she had initially been a little afraid, she now felt completely at ease. Even if Ian had left directly after they had gotten married, he had given her a most powerful weapon against her family's intentions. As long as she was married, they could no longer interfere in this aspect of her personal life. Her relationship with her family would no longer be as intimate as it had been before. Now she was the daughter who had run off without their approval. He had matters to attend to. He'll come over when he can, she told her father. Glad to have maintained her dignity, she turned around and made it toward the stairs. If that's all, I'm going up to my room. Stop right there, John shouted, enraged. Call him over this instant. I won't believe you until I see him. If you don't show me your husband and proof of your marriage today, you will marry Drake, no questions asked, he announced. 
She reached into her bag and pulled out a copy of the marriage certificate. That should do it, she thought. She returned to the living room and placed the document on the coffee table. Stella walked up to her and picked it up. When she saw it, she frowned. When did you do this? I had no idea. Her eyes were resentful, and Madison felt her heart fill with glee. As you can see, my name is no longer Greenwald, Madison said, and Stella saw that she was telling the truth. It was obvious from the document that Madison was indeed married. She suddenly wanted to call her husband, but she didn't know him well enough, and yet she blushed at the thought of hearing his voice. John came over to look at the marriage certificate, and as he read it, he became incensed. Unacceptable divorce him immediately, he said, his entire body trembling with barely contained rage. You will marry Drake, do you understand? Drake watched them, his expression darkening. Madison looked at her father in disbelief. He was willing to send his son overseas to get a degree and manage the family business just so that he would reap the benefits and not have to see him for years. He let his younger daughter steal his older daughter's boyfriend, and now he was trying to force her to marry a man twice her age. Finally, she saw him for what he was. Lowering her eyes, she firmly shook her head and said, I'm sorry, but I won't divorce Ian, and I won't marry Drake. She felt a stinging pain in her cheek. Her father had slapped her. In just two days, she had gotten slapped by three different members of her family. A terrifying silence took over the room, broken only moments later by the sound of someone ringing the doorbell. Kelsey disappeared from the room and went to open the door. John went into a rage. You're evil. My family has no use for a daughter like you. Either you divorce that man and marry Drake, or you can pack your bags and go. His shouts echoed through the house, carrying it to the hall.